on. Exactly. Good. Well, I think in games like this that are big rivalry games where uh, a lot of stuff going on around the game and all that, that players have to really focus on execution. That's the most important thing in a game like this. You know, focusing on what you need to do in the game to play well and uh, not get sort of semi-distracted by, you know, all the things that are going around you, around you, so you're not saying what if and if only I'd have done this or that or whatever and then have a bunch of regrets. So that's what we're trying to focus on with our players and uh, we certainly made progress this week, but we still have work to do and, um, you know, this is a great rivalry game and everybody looks forward to competing in it and um, we're... I think our, our players would love to play their best football in this game. Um, go ahead. No, I apologize. We'll start here with Michael. Early here, you were talking about penalties, and a couple of them were found out a few games. So what do you think has been behind you guys cutting those down and, and being pretty highly ranked in that? Well, we, we emphasize it you know, every day. It's disappointing when you emphasize it and you don't get the result that you want, which sometimes earlier in the year we did not get it. Uh, lately, it's been a little better, uh, especially the undisciplined type penalties. You know, the pole starts, the illegal formations on offense, the jumping off sides, lining up on off sides on defense. Uh, I think you're going to have a few competitive penalties every now and then where, you know, maybe a guy gets past interference or you get a holding call when you're out there competing or whatever. But it's those kind of penalties that you really want to eliminate. And putting yourself in good position and using good technique uh, have a good focus on what you're doing is usually what contributes to that. But you know, we have officials every day in practice. Uh, we know we go through penalties every day in practice uh, so that players see the emphasis on um, what they need to improve on when it comes to those types of things. Come back up front with Mark. Yeah, I was just going to ask for a quick update on Cam Robinson and Corey Curve and how they look in practice and will they play? Well, they, they have practiced and um, they continue to make progress. They both will play. Um, both Scarborough has practiced more this week, so uh, we're hopeful that he'll continue to progress and uh, certainly looks a lot better uh, this week. Um, so that's about it. Up front here with Kirk. Coach, I wonder if you, you're ever nervous before a game or in preparation, or are you always nervous or, or never? Um, I don't know if nervous is the right word. Um, I think that um, you stay a little uptight, or at least I do, until I feel like you know the players really sort of got it uh, in terms of uh, understanding what they need to do and you've had enough repetitions to uh, get things right. So you feel like going into the game, there aren't a lot of questions in their mind as to what they should do and how they need to adjust. Um, and then I think the, when the game starts, you know, you're totally involved in the game and um, trying to make adjustments to whatever's happening in the game. So uh, you're worrying play to play. You're not really, you know, nervous or anything like that. So I, I don't really know if nervous is the right word. Uh, I don't know if anxious is the right word. I, I would be more using the term concerned uh, that you got your players ready to play well. A couple more. Alex and then Tom. I wanted to ask you, we talked about Cameron Petway, but Auburn has another running back in Kerry and Johnson. Uh, what are your thoughts on him? I know, I guess he, you, you offered him to come here as well. What do you see from him as a recruit? Well, he's a fantastic player, a very good all-around player. You know, can run inside, can run outside. Really, really good receiver. Um, you know, they use him in Wildcat songs so he can handle the ball well for him. Um, you know, I mean, he is the whole package and a complete player and we have a tremendous amount of respect for them and um, I think when those two guys are healthy, you know, their 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 running game is even better uh, and it's always really good. Finish up in the back with Tom. Injuries always impact injuries always impact every game, but with your NFL background, I'm just curious, would you be in favor, hypothetically, of the NCAA instituted an injury report policy for FBS programs? Well, who would we be given? Why would we be doing that for you or for us? Well, I mean, I think we'd be doing it for you. I mean, I have no interest in telling the other team what players are going to play or whatever. 
Uh, and I don't think most teams in the NFL do either, but the media wants to know, and they put a lot of pressure on them, so they make a rule that you have to release an injury report. So, you know, I mean, I guess if I was in your shoes, I'd be for it. Standing up here in my shoes, I'm not for it. <laughs> Good answer. Thanks, Coach. All right, is That's that it? it? Yep. Well, hey, look, Thanksgiving's a great time of the year for everybody to have a lot of gratitude for all the blessings that we have and things that sometimes we don't think about that we should be thankful for. So uh, I hope everybody has a very happy Thanksgiving, all of our fans, all of our supporters, and uh, certainly the group of people that's here today sacrificing being away from your family to cover our team. Thank you very much. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys.